light shines on The Spirit helps me guide my way I know this ain't just me I'll walk strong But this time I won't be afraid I know this ain't just me No, this ain't just me Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to Silver Arrow Tarot. Um, I am super excited. I can't even tell you how excited I am. I don't know why this is just, I had a midnight, like, epiphany download, and I'm just, I haven't been able to do this topic, um, even though I had it, I've had it, the idea, uh, for a little while now, a couple of days, um, but I actually made these little mini ducks, um, just for the occasion, <laughs> just for this topic. I'm sure I'll use them again in other situations. Um, but let's get into it. I'm also using this Archetypes um, Kim Cran stick, which I absolutely freaking adore. Uh, but the topic today is what makes you attractive spiritual edition? So this is a topic that I'm super passionate about as well. And um, I see a lot of other tarot readers on YouTube doing this particular reading but I'm gonna do it my way um, because I have a particular passion for this um, I really believe that the beauty comes from within comes from the soul um, trained I am trained as an artist I went to art college um, and I learned how to see beauty in ways that the average person just doesn't look for it um, beauty in a craggled um, weather-worn face, beauty in things that most people will consider to be not attractive, unbeautiful, you know, age, um, decay of any kind. So I truly believe and I truly feel that um, beauty is so much more than our physical appearances. So these decks that I created are attributes that have nothing to do with what you look like. I've got I've got topics like I've got um, cards that say ancestral lineage, um, aura color, um, galactic lineage. I've got things that um, people might not consider to be attractive, like being loud, <laughs> being confident, being complex, being simple. Um, just to name a few. So we're going to dive into it. I hope you're excited. I am. Um, there's going to be three piles. And yeah, we're going to do three piles. At the very, very end, though, I will throw you guys a little uh, bone and just see what comes out um, physical appearance wise so that maybe it'll clue you in, validate that that was your pile. Um, just for fun. But this is mainly about your your soul, your essence, what people find attractive about you. And it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be just pe what people are drawn to about you. All right? We'll see you in a second with the piles. Hi, beauties. So here are our three piles. The light, these two tea lights. <laughs> See if we'll make it through the video with these. I never ever think that my readings will go as long as they do, but um, hey, it takes as long as it takes, right? Um, <clears throat> so you have pile one with this natural um, shell, not a shell, um, it's a walnut husk or a, you know, nut seed husk. We have for pile two, 
a small bit of smoky quartz. And for pile three, we have this beautiful seashell, spiral seashell here. So <clears throat> I really do think that this is a very relevant topic. I don't, I, you know, even though there's no, um, you know, things happening. I, I asked my mom this morning, actually, what what's happening. She said that Venus is moving into certain positions. And so that's all about to do with beauty. Um, and also uh, the shadow side, because Venus is ruled by Virgo, or Virgo is ruled by Venus. Um, I've been noticing a lot of perfectionism cropping up um, in my own life. Um, dealing with that, the wounding around perfectionism, which is the shadow wounding of Virgo. So if, just side note, if you guys are dealing with any of that, that's, if you're matched to listening to me, we're probably um, feeling a lot of the same things. Um, so just keep, keep an eye on those things. And yeah. So I'm going to do this little, my little ritual with the Palo Santo and clearing the energies. I will be pulling more for each pile as well as clarifiers from the wild unknown and see what, you know, if we can go deeper on any of the characteristics. All right, see you in your pile. Hi, beautiful pile one. So your first two cards that fell out, um, were unique and mature. So this pile um, may have some Aquarius in their chart um, because Aquarians are often the most unique and, uh, you know, yeah, unique and inventive, quirky of the zodiac. And we also have mature. So it doesn't have to speak about your age. I'm probably going to talk about this a lot in this video, that the, the adjectives that I use don't necessarily have to apply to chronological age. It just is your energy. We're talking about energy. So you may have an energy about you that people find very attractive, that you are very mature in terms of being, having wisdom, having a lot of feeling. You have this feeling around you that you have a lot of experience that you have a lot to offer, that you're very stable, a very stable person to be around. Um, someone that people look up to, can um, respect. All right, so let's continue. We're gonna continue to um, shuffle um, and see what comes out. So please, Show me what is attractive about pile one. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, you have a very unique, I mean, you have a very, like, um, interesting energy. This, um, these qualities seem, intuitively, they don't seem like they would go together, but um, Spirit's obviously telling me that you have both. Someone likes to really um, be ahead of the curve here. What do people find attractive about by when? I don't know why it is, but I like to close my eyes. <laughs> I like to close my eyes when I, when I shuffle. Seeker. Cool. All these three really definitely seem to go together. Dancer. Okay. So some of you might like dancing. You might be a beautiful dancer. Or maybe just the way you move. Um. <laughs> Loud. Chivalry. So, it's so interesting, guys. So... <clears throat> you're not somebody who shies, is shy with, with this unique and loud um, 
but you also have quiet. So you may, what may be attractive about you is that you know when to speak up and you know when to be quiet. Um, with that chivalry card, you know how to embody um, a certain masculine energy uh, with regards to taking ownership with that with this maturity card so you may be good at embodying this divine masculine um, and standing up for people uh, standing up in situations that really people need someone to to take charge and yeah, come come to people's aid. And you also have Seeker. Which goes along, I feel like, with this trail build, trail blazer energy. Um, you're always looking for the new information, the newest, um, most updated. You may even, you know, come channel your own information from spirit. But you're always looking, people find this very attractive, that you're always kind of like seeking things, learn, willing to learn new things. All right, um, we're going to shuffle this one uh, and see what else comes out for you. Spirit, show me what is most attractive about, people find most attractive about pile one. introverted all right so it goes along with that quiet morals so it definitely goes along with that um mature and chivalry cards you are mature enough to have some really good sense of moral values um and this introverted and seeker card to me go together because it's it feels like to me that um, kind of like the hermit in the tarot. Um, someone who can go inward and be um, good being still and being quiet and being with themselves um, and seeking knowledge and wisdom within that maybe is not found in in common um, understanding of things. So that's that's very attractive. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So you have voice. And I wrote high, low, or accent. So something about your voice is either very soothing. It's, um, you could be a singer or um, use your voice in some way. But with the loud card, it tells me that you know how to use your voice whether it be deep um, and booming and commands attention, or perhaps you have a particular accent, um, or you have a very unique um, tone to your voice. Um, but people find this very lovable about you. Your, your qualities of being quiet and introverted and, and but then also being able to stand up very attractive very very attractive um, quality that you can sw that you can maneuver the swing and the duality here and there's a lot of dancing with between duality um, for you but again you've got un unique so I would definitely even if unique did not come out um I would definitely say <laughs> that you are unique with this quiet and loud seeker and chivalry trailblazer morals. Let's see, we'll just get one or two more. Extra. <laughs> so you got extra. So people like that about you. You go the extra mile for things that you love. You might enjoy um, extravagant things. You might like 
extra guacamole on your burrito, you might not shy away, you know, you don't, um, you're not frugal. And teacher. So you might use your voice to teach. Um, so let's look, let's see. I want to get a little bit more about some of these cards, so let's look at this unique card and see if something comes out. Why is pile one unique? Just clarify unique for me, please, for it. Okay. So <clears throat> you've got the cave. So definitely goes back to what I was saying about um, you being um, able to go inward um, and seek knowledge and um, sustainment within. And you're not afraid of the dark. You're not afraid of going into the dark. So it's kind of scary. Here you can kind of see. There's these two eyes, very faint. Very faint. So I feel like you're really um, able to face your shadow. And people find that really, really cool about you. Um, Let's look at extra. Why, why is this card extra up here? Why is pile one extra? You guys don't want to tell me. <laughs> you guys don't want me to know. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was loud. Um, gnosis. I'm going to have to look at that in the book. Hold on. Innermost knowing mystic truth. Oh, we know that. Right? So <clears throat> this just tells me that you guys are really attractive because you go the extra mile. You really um, take it seriously, your journey that you're on, um, on in this life. And you really go hard in terms of contemplating the mystery of life, the unanswerable questions of life. Um, you don't give up on those, on like working on those, noodling with those. You really want to you really want to touch what's never been touched before within the human experience and alchemize and then teach from that place of knowing. Cool, guys. <laughs> really cool. Let's look at this chivalry card for a second.
So uh, what came out um, was the heart. So what makes you really attractive to people is that you are um, really heart-centered. You got your heart in the right place when it comes to being um, kind of a champion of others and kind of leading this, you know, this energy. It feels like very divine masculine to me. You may not be masculine, but um, I think in certain situations, you can embody this uh, quality very well. Helping people in need and doing it from a heart-centered place, not from an egoic place. Um, yeah, you really, you really love people. You love humanity. And people can really feel that. Um, it's definitely a deep um, quality you've, you've definitely cultivated and matured. Um, either in this lifetime or in others um, as a soul. All right, so we're going to take one final look at your cards about your physical appearance. So what do people find physically attractive? About pile one. Freckles. So you have may have freckles or a beauty mark. It says otherworldly. So you may have a unique look um, physically that looks somewhat um, out of this world, not you know, not typical, um, you know, I'm like, when I wrote that word, my sort of intention was to kind of quantify someone who has like, um, kind of an alien type, you know, physique, maybe very tall, maybe very like graceful, um, but doesn't have to be. It's just somebody who people go like, that's a very unique looking person. It doesn't, you have this aura and energy and physical appearance that has um, an otherworldly quality to it outside of this earthly, you know, humanoid kind of typical appearance. Okay, it really wants to come. <laughs> so you have a really nice smile. People are really drawn to your smile. Yeah, you must, I feel like with this chivalry, you must have a very genuine um, looking smile. With that heart card and this lovable card. Timeless. So you may have a um, look to you that's kind of out of time, which goes along with that otherworldly. Um, you may not look of our time. You may not dress of our time. Um, you may not look very modern, but you look very timelessly beautiful or handsome. Exotic. <laughs> All right. So, exotic, otherworldly, timeless. Very unique look. People are not used to looking at people that look like you. They can't really place you. They can't really categorize you. It's, um, you know, you can't easily define you in terms of your, of your appearance. 
and that makes you really, really attractive. Angular. So that also goes along with um, what I was saying about otherworldly or kind of alien looking is um, you may have like very angular features, an angular jawline, an angular nose. Um, just very striking um, like shape to your face. Let's get one more hands. So you, have, you might have really nice looking hands, really well manicured, really well kept. Um, you might have very long slender hands or you might have very strong looking hands. Um, you may take very good care, manicure, like I said. I'll do one more. You might have very nice skin with the freckles. You might have very um, skin outs, very nice to look at. Um, even I know that some people think that freckles aren't beautiful, but um, a lot of people do. <laughs> so you might have really um, glowing skin, really beautiful skin. There's something about your skin that people find really nice. To look at. All right, I think that's going to be all for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading, and uh, also keep in mind I do have private readings available. If you want to check that out on my Etsy shop, I will put a link in the description box. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi, beautiful pile too. Welcome to your reading. Um, if you chose this smoky, this is your pile. Um, and your first card that um, we asked for, you have animal lover and boss. So people really like that you are, you love animals. Um, you may work in some field that actually deals with taking care of animals, maybe a zoo or a sanctuary or... Um, a rescue shelter or um, adoption. <clears throat> Maybe you even own it. Maybe you even own this place. Um, maybe you breed animals. Maybe you take care of um, conservation to save um, certain species. So the other thing that people really um, are, are attracted to about you is that you have a boss energy, you have a leadership energy about you, you have a take charge energy about you. Even if you are not a boss, um, you have this energy that people really are drawn to. All right, so let's get more information. We're going to look at what is what people find attractive about pile two. Thank you, Spirit, for showing us what is most attractive about Pile 2. I had so much fun doing these for myself the other day. That's why I was like, this is going to be amazing. Uh, I was like up to like 2 a.m. writing out like all of the different things. And then it sent me down this rabbit hole about handsome and beautiful and how the etymology of those words um, meant very different things in the past. Do you have aura colors? So your aura color is very, very attractive to people. Um, 
you might have a yellow or a color, maybe not. Um, yellow is a very attractive color. Um, but in any case, whatever your aura color is, it's, um, or aura colors, we have, we can have more than one. Uh, people are really picking up on that, even if they don't see it, um, with their eyes, they're feeling it in their, in, in your energy field. Um, and it's very magnetic. Dangerous. Ooh. We're going to clarify that one. People find you attractive because you're dangerous. Prankster <laughs> goes right along with dangerous and committed. Okay, right, I'm going to switch to my other ones here. Sensual and morals. Hmm. Morals and committed. Morals came out for pile one. Got some very moralistic people on my channel. You're welcome here. Love to have you. and humorous that goes along with your prankster um, card here so I feel like um, you have a very quirky sense of humor you may like to pull fun pranks on people I don't think that um <clears throat> you mean any harm by it? Um, you're just having fun. You're just connecting into your childlike energy. Um, you might be kind of a flirt. That's one. That is one I didn't put in here. Is flirt. But I'm picking up kind of a flirty energy with the way that these cards came out. Um, so you might push the line a little bit with some of your things that you say in terms of um, kind of coming on to people. Or you may just do that like naturally as kind of your energy. Um, you don't mean anything serious by it. Um just playful it's just kind of a playful like you may uh, you may like making other feel people feel attractive and that's what's that's what people find attractive about you is that you help other people feel good about themselves and you you make them feel like sexy and um like wanted and like desirable But I feel like with committed and morals, um, it's not that you you don't like, it's not that you're a player. Um, it seems like you have this committed um, attitude. So you may like being in a stable relationship. Um, yeah. With that boss energy, I mean, bosses have to be committed. So you may be very committed to your your job, um, your 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 projects, your passion projects, um, and people like that about you. They like that you stay committed um, to your dreams, to your goals, to making a stable life for yourself. Clever. <laughs> Cuts. 
so quirky, clever, prankster, dangerous, humorous. You definitely have a little bit of a, um, what's the word? A jokester. Achievement, yep. People like this achieving energy about you. You're committed to your your long term goals. Um, but I feel like you don't make work feel difficult or like drudgery or like um, monotonous or mundane. It's like you bring this quirky energy to it. Outgoing. So people like that you are outgoing. I think that goes back to that, with that, what I was saying about the flirtatious energies. Um, <clears throat> so let's clarify a few of these. So I wanted to start out by clarifying um, dangerous for us. Why is dangerous here for file two? Can you give us more information, please? Dangerous. And I just realized you can't see that at all. <laughs> all right, so this um, dangerous energy, along with the father, um, there's something about you that people are picking up on that you are very loyal and committed to your to your um, business or um, financial stability, um, but that actually uh, may be feel kind of dangerous to certain people in your life or people maybe that you are trying to date um, because they can sense that like you're going to put that, um, first, you know, that's very attractive. It's very, very attractive to watch someone just go full war after what they believe in and what they want to achieve. Um, but there's a dangerous aspect to that too, because we, um, you may, you may put off that energy that like, um, anyone else is going to come second, right? I really think I'm going to try, let's see, let's get a second card because I want to like try to understand this. Says apocalypse. Apocalypse. I'm gonna have to read that one. <laughs> Removing the veil of deception. Apocalypse in indicates a particularly painful time that one one unfolds when two disparate dynamics occur simultaneously, pulling the psyche in seemingly opposite directions. It 
it's like nothing's gonna stand in the way of like this ultimate truth that you have um you're willing to tear down anything or remove anything from your life that doesn't serve this higher goal of yours and people really like this about you this i mean achievement committed boss outgoing you have this high moral um, compass towards this goal of yours but it might leave some people in your wake okay so let's look at what do we want to look at So I'm going to clarify um, prankster energy um, and see what we have. Okay, so three. We have this destroyer. Um, we have the river. And we have the dead end. So... Uh, with this prankster energy, I feel like um, you're, again, you're really willing to, like, destroy anything that keeps you from flowing and moving forward in your life. That's, like, very strong forward-moving energy for you. Um, and you're, you really want to see it through till the end. Like, whatever it is that you take on as a project, um, you're going to, like, just continue until... You can't go on anymore. You, can, you know, you reach the natural conclusion. Um, <clears throat> so this might come off to people as a prankster type energy um, that you you actually are willing to sort of like combust certain things, <laughs> um, like scrap things that you've been working on, like um, for the for the greater good um, of a larger goal. For example, you've spent five hours on a painting and then, or like 10 hours on a painting and um, you just, you chuck it and you start over because it's not coming out exactly how you wanted it to go. Um, and you learned a lot along that process and then you're like willing to just sort of like burn that and, and start fresh. Um, but you're, it's not like you've given up on the project. It's you're just going to continue it in a new form. Um, so people really, like, admire this about you. Um, it's just never, never give up energy. Okay. We keep, <laughs> we keep coming back to the same essential energy. Um, I think that's what this this clever card and this prankster card really are saying is that you are it comes across very clever of you and cheeky and irreverent that you just drop things um but you kind of know what you're doing or your higher self knows what it's doing maybe you don't know that you're um why you just lose interest in certain things but you're just sort of being pulled by a greater love or a greater goal or a greater sense of your life So let's get one for Animal Lover, because it kind of stands out to me. So you have Siren. For the Animal Lover.
So let's stop. That's talking about a very different kind of animal. <laughs> um, not that it negates the other thing that I was saying, but you might have a very animalistic side to you, like with this sensual card. Um, like a very instinctual. The temptress, the seducer, the femme fatale. So, <clears throat> I feel like you might have an aspect of you that like knows how to seduce people, and maybe not in like a necessarily even a, in a romantic sense, but you know how to seduce people with with your words, with your with your ideas, um, and you kind of have fun with it. It's like a little bit of a game. Um, you know how to like uh, use your sensuality, your sexuality, um, and your like I said before, you have like an animal magnetism. There's a natural animal magnetism that you possess. All right, so that's what people find attractive about you, and doesn't have to do anything to do with what you look like. It's your energy. All right. And it's very interesting with that animal lover and that committed is you kind of, you know, I don't necessarily put those two together, um, but you have both. You have this like flirty energy, but also committed energy. Um, yeah. So we're going to take a few cards from these cards I did do um, specifically for your physical appearance. All right. So let's. You know, clarify, you know this is your pile. What does people find physically attractive about pile two? Thank you, Spirit, for showing me. Yikes. <laughs> Beautiful. Clean. So... That just means um, either you're clean shaven, um, if you're a man, or you have a very clean look to you. So you don't have like, um, maybe you don't have a lot of piercings or <clears throat> tattoos. You don't wear a lot of makeup if you're a woman. Um, but also, just like I was saying earlier, like the etymology of beautiful was not like how we use it today it's more about uh, it it's used in was used in the context of somebody who has a high standard so you would say that's a beautiful piece of craftsmanship um so something that is of high value of high standard so we can look at it not in necessarily in terms of physical although if it's coming out and also not necessarily gender specific. When I pulled these cards for myself, um, I got I got beard and I got and I got handsome and I'm like, what the heck? But every other card was like spot on, so I was like, all right, we have to look deeper into this. You know, spirits telling me. So I started to look into what handsome means, and handsome means. Um, it was, you could call a woman handsome, you used to be able to call a woman handsome, it just meant someone who's really owned their, um, owned their sovereignty and owned their power and, like, a, um, matured into, um, a very high quality person. Skin. So, very clean, clear skin. Uh, feet, you might have very beautiful feet, handsome, otherworldly. So again, you have a very handsome, a very beautiful face, um, but you're also just someone of very high quality, a very high standard. Um, and you also have a kind of out of this world 
appearance. Um, so kind of maybe a little bit ethereal or alien-like, maybe tall, slender, um, angular, um, big eyes. You have beautiful feet. Yeah. All right. Ooh, okay. So, like I said, eyes, beautiful eyes. You have nice curves if you're a woman. Um, you have a beautiful smile. And you're exotic, which goes along with that otherworldly card. You have an exotic, otherworldly, unique, not typical um, look to you. That really draws people in. That makes people attracted. Um, you may have darker features. It doesn't have to be. You may have um, a mixed lineage. You have glowing skin, like I said. Um, you either have a very kind of masculine physique or you have a very feminine physique. For some of you, you have a very androgynous look. You look like you could be, um, you could shape shift into um, a masculine or feminine energy, or like you can, you know, wear masculine looking clothes. Um, you, if you're a, a woman, you can pull off like a like three piece suit look. All right, like um like movie stars of the 30s. Um, or if you're a man, maybe you can pull off like um, some eye makeup or something. Or maybe you like like paint your nails or something. Um, but I feel like it also goes along with that kind of un otherworldly, um, exotic look. All right, guys. Um, that is all I'm seeing for you guys, and I really hope you had fun with this reading. I really did. Um, thank you for joining me and spending time with me, and if you like this reading, um, remember I have um, personal private readings available on my Etsy shop, and you can find that in the links below. All right. I love you. Bye. Hello, beautiful pile three. Welcome to your reading. If this is your um, so shell that you picked... So these were the first two out, and I have to tell you, when I was pre-shuffling, Psychic flew out of the deck, so you guys really wanted this reading, and <laughs> you're really raring to go. Um, your other card is serious, so people really like that you are um, someone who takes things very seriously, and um, yeah, that you have psychic abilities. But we're, we're going to get into it. We're going to look at more. Um, and then we'll clarify. And then we're going to end off with um, your physical attributes. Which I did do some from this. And I made a specific pile for that. Just so you know um, that this is your pile. So. <clears throat> I feel like I need to spray some violet flame here. Okay. So, what spirit, thank you for showing me. What pile three 
What is most attractive about pile three? What do people find attractive about pile three? Thank you. I really like to close my eyes when I do that. I don't know why. Ambivert. So you have ambivert, which is someone who is pretty equal in terms of their outgoing nature and their introverted side. Um, logical, which goes along with that serious and introverted, which feels very like someone who has a psychic sensibilities. We tend to be people who are a little bit more introverted because stimulation for a psychic person, a sensitive person, you know, um, we pick up on a lot more and, and it uh, can get overwhelming easier with a lot of stimuli. Um, that we're picking up from the environment. Um, and we need downtime. We need to feel, um, you know, have a chance to get centered. That wanted to come out. Not a surprise. Deep. So, you guys are serious and deep and psychic. I love you guys. You're my people. <laughs> Stylish. So you have a good aesthetic sense is what I am um, picking up for this card. It's not always about your physical, but you do have a, uh, people really like the fact that you have a really um, finely attuned aesthetic sense. You may have really good taste in music. You may have really good taste in decor and decoration. Um, you may have really good taste in uh, um, crystals, um, um, you may have a really good taste in, um, food, you may have a really good taste in all of these things, you may have a really good taste in, um, what's the word, vacation destinations, like, um, uh, hotels or Airbnbs that are, like, you know, to the max in terms of, like, um, they're like luxury vibes. Um, not because they, you, be, you know, not because you're shallow, but actually because you're deep, because you really appreciate these things. You really appreciate, um, things that are like very, you appreciate the, the quality. Okay. And I feel like, um, you have a very logical, serious mind, but that's really interesting too because like logic and it's like, it's like right brain, left brain stuff. So looks like you have a good blend um, on both of those things. Um, you may be able to use your psychic abilities, but then apply it very logically. People will find that really attractive. So you're very analytical and logical and you can... Um, look at any kind of psychic impressions or intuitive impressions and, and really dissect them and not let them, um, you know, lead you <clears throat> to imbalance. I have seen that in some psychics. Not going to name names. attractive about pile three please pair it oh well i don't know for some of you i don't know you have a goofy side you may only let that goofy side come out too sorry people so i feel like that's one why i like 
not putting that in the main here because it's like we may um, come across serious to most people, but like to people that really know you deeply, um, that you let into your inner world, um, you have a really goofy, funny side and playful side. Like you may have a really um, like dad sense of humor. <laughs> Okay, well, we got humorous. Chivalry. That is so interesting. Social. Feel like you have a really good heart with that chivalry card. Um, you have a really pure heart. Um, you really want the best for people. You really want to help people. Um, heart centered, um, helping of people. Not from an egoic place, but from a sense of like I want to help the greater good. I want to help humanity. Um, I think that's where that social comes in. It's like this social, um, this sense of social responsibility. Dangerous. Okay. Y'all. Okay, feminine. Um, you may have some dark feminine qualities. Uh, that is not bad. Not bad at all. Um, this is just really suppressed within um, society right now. Um, you know, the Kelly energy. Um, the death and rebirth kind of energy. I feel like you're really... And all this stuff, like, it's coming out because it's attractive, right? Um, so it's very attractive that you're able to um, not shy away from this darker energy. Um, and you kind of embody it and you uh, let it flow when it needs to. Sexy. <laughs> now, again, th these are not physical attributes. Like I said, this is animal magnetism. See, I wrote that in the... I don't know if you can see it. Animal magnetism. So this is just purely about your... <sighs> Um, your energy, your, what's the word? Just your vibe, you know? You pull, you pull people in with this, this magnetism of yours, this je ne sais quoi, right? <laughs> So you might have a sassy sense of humor. You might have, with that dangerous feminine, um, you can let that, that, that part of you fly, you know? You can let some zingers go. Um, and people like that about you, you know? A little bit of danger, a little bit of like unpredictability is, is actually attractive. Um, not quite knowing what's going to come out of somebody's mouth is always attractive because it's like you never know what you're going to get you don't um, you know you're, you're on your toes um, and it's it's interesting it's so like what are they going to say next what are they going to do next um, I'm, they're, I'm, always, I'm always surprised by pile 3 athletic so you might be into some kind of sports or athleticism in some way musical some of you might be um, good with instruments of some kind, or a singer, animal lover. So you love animals. And a boss. So you might run your own business. Um, you might be an entrepreneur. Um, 
and because all those cards boss athletic musical you might be a personal trainer you might be a music teacher or you might be trying to <clears throat> have a music career or you might um work with animals in some capacity maybe you are an animal communicator <laughs> Maybe you're a comedian. Um, maybe you are an interior decorator with that stylish embossed card. Maybe you um, teach like people how to embody their sens sexual sides and sensual sides, like um, pole dancing or. Um, yeah, like exotic dancing. Cool, very interesting pile. I really like this pile. <laughs> so, what would we like to perhaps clarify more? Oh, that just wanted to come out. <laughs> the queen. So, <clears throat> Lots of feminine energy for this pile. The other two piles are a little bit more masculine um, energy-wise. But yeah. So that sassy queen, um, psychic, sexy, stylish, deep, Man, with the, with the logical and um, with the kind of these dualities here, you, you really know how to embody your inner masculine and allow your inner feminine to come out in a very empowered way. Um, I feel like I'm just going to like, because I don't know if there's one particular card I want to clarify. I just feel like I'm allowing more messages go through here. But, you know, queens are bosses, right? <clears throat> I wish I had some water, but I don't. Anything else, spirit, you want to know about pile three? Let's see. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'd date you. <laughs> I would be your friend. Self. The one. And healer. Well, wow, that's not a surprise. I'm surprised that didn't come out and any of the, because I did put healer in my little black cards. You got a lot of snake imagery here, which goes back to that message about the dark feminine um, energy. But with the self and healer, I really feel like um, people like you because you are Either you're helping to help help other people heal themselves, you're healing yourself. Um, you may have a very healing energy yourself because this is just like radiating like in all directions. Um, so you're you might be kind of a catalyst type person. Um, you might teach self empowerment. Some people. But I feel like you're you you are attractive because you help others sort of embody this. Um their true selves. Because you're not afraid to kind of be your true self. Kind of a very authentic person, I feel, which people are attracted to. It's always attractive to be authentic. 
vulnerable. Um, yeah. All right, guys. I hope you like this reading. Thank you for joining me. Um, it was an honor to read your cards. Thank you for sharing time and space with me. Um, if you like this reading, please remember I do have personal readings in the description box below on my Etsy shop. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye!